two ways to put text behind objects in DaVinci Resolve. We're going to go and put some text behind me talking. Let's start off with method one. What you're going to want to do is duplicate your clip. You can use Control C and Control V for this or hold down Alt and drag the clip to make a copy of it. Move the playhead over the copy of the clip and then come down here and switch over to the color workspace. Come up to the top right and open up the effects by clicking on the effects, click the little search box and then search for depth map. Drag the depth map effect over this node. Make sure that the quality is set to better. If you're really having problems with the speed of your computer, you can try faster, but if you can get away with it, I would recommend better. This depth map preview tick box turns off and on the preview of what's going to be selected with this depth map effect. And what we're gonna do here is we're effectively going to remove the background. Come down to the resulting map adjustment section and tick the adjust map levels box. Now we can use the far limit to select what's far away from the camera and we can use the near limit slider to select what's close to the camera. In this case, what we want to do is change these two values so we get the outline of me in white and the entire background black. So we'll start off with the near limit and wait until we get me going completely white and then we'll adjust the far limit until the background is completely black. If I zoom in here, notice that we've got these jagged lines around this selection. What you want to do is come down to the map finesse area and click post processing to turn it on. Then adjust this post filter amount and add a little bit of post filtering just to soften the edges a bit and this is going to help the effect blend in. You can come back and fine tune this later. Turn off the depth map preview, right click in this area here and choose add alpha output. This will add this blue dot here. Now you want to drag a line from the blue square on this node to the blue circle and now you can see the background has disappeared. Come back to the edit page and then drag this clip that you've just added the depth map to and put it over the top of the unchanged clip at the bottom. Next open up the effects, come over to titles and add whichever text you want. Make sure it's the same length as the clip, click on the text, open up the inspector and then change the size and the fonts to be whatever you want to be. And if you want to move things around, you can enable the transform overlay and move the text to wherever you want it to be. Let's have a look at this full screen. Two things to notice here. The first thing is that the text is not actually appearing behind the chair. And if that's what we want, method two will be easier to accomplish this. And if we scroll through here, notice that when I move further away from the camera, the text is no longer behind me. So the advantages of this method is that we don't have to do any tracking and it's also pretty simple and easy to get the effect we want. The downsides to this approach is that if you've got any front or back movement, so a person moving further or closer to the camera, this effect might not work. And as we just mentioned, we don't get the writing behind the chair. All right, on to method two. I'm gonna create a copy of the starting clip that we had here, and I'm also just going to grab a copy of the text. As we did before, we're gonna create a copy of the original video file by using Alt and drag, and move that across the top. Come back to the color page, and this time, instead of searching for depth map, we can turn off the effects, and we can come down here to this magic mask section. Click this to open up the magic mask. Next, find a frame that represents most of the object, and then just draw a line roughly around the object that we want to put the text behind. Come down to this section here, and if you've got a fast computer, I suggest you click better, because it's just gonna give you quicker and better results without having to modify all of these sliders to fine tune things. If you want to see what's been selected, click this mask overlay button here, and the thing that's been selected will be overlaid in this red color. This method does require some tracking, so you're going to want to click this button here to track both forwards and backwards from that starting frame where we drew on the mask. Depending on the speed of your computer and the length of the clip, this will take a different amount of time. And you can see what a great job the magic mask does of tracking movement with the object. Once the tracking's complete, as we did before, right click on the node area and choose add alpha output and draw a line from the blue box to the alpha output blue box. And then come back to the edit page. And you should see now that we've got the text behind me as we had before. You can see as I've moved farther away from the camera, the text has now stayed behind me, whereas in the other version, using the depth map approach, text didn't stay behind me. But what if you want to have the text behind me and the chair? In this case, we come back to the color tab, 
make sure we're in the magic mask section and then we go and also draw on a plus sign for the chair you can see now it goes this red color and then once again click the track forward and back button now davinci resolve will also track the chair once the tracking's complete come back to the edit page and now you can see that the text is behind both me and the chair the drawback of method 2 is that we need to perform that tracking of the magic mask which takes a bit more time but the benefits are that it's more targeted and it also handles front and back movement when things are moving closer or further to the camera and we can also more easily put the text behind both me and the chair for loads more davinci resolve tips check out this playlist and please subscribe i'd really appreciate it and hopefully i'll see you in the next video